when you sign up for the premium version, you get the license of two users, one administrative user and another employee user. You can check out how Handy works both as an admin and as a regular user. Now let us see how an admin needs to set things up. Let's go to the settings page. Select your default time zone and date format. This is what will be used for all your reports. Next, in the reports, you can select whether you want to view just the work time or the work time and the break time. Idle and logout time allows you to select after how many minutes the employee's timer should automatically log out. You can also allow your employees to add their work time manually. Choose wisely if your employees need this option. Handy captures screenshots for whatever time period you set, like 5 or 10 minutes. Set IP restrictions to yes, if you want the employee to log in only from a particular IP. Don't forget to hit save settings at the end. Next, let us go to the clients page. Here, you can add as many clients as you want your team to track work for. Let us go to the projects page. Here, you can add the projects that your employees will be working on. Each project can be mapped to one or more clients, and it can be assigned to any number of employees. Next, we move on to the tasks page. Here, you can specify one or more tasks that would be performed by your employees. You can also select the task type, whether it is work time or break time. The next step would be to specify the teams that you have in your company. The last step would be to add an employee and assign them to a team. Handy will automatically send an email to the employee with a link saying that they can click on the link to activate. Once the employee clicks on the link to activate, they will have to choose a password and use it to log into Handy web application. So the first thing that the employee has to do is to go into the app page and then click on download desktop timer. This is what will be used to track the employee activity. The employee should then download, install and log into the desktop app.